I'm Jen from the Bead Lounge here for Cameron Kay's Jewelry Selling Secrets and today we're gonna make one of these gorgeous wire wrapped rings. All right and I just wanted to show you some other colors and different ways you can do them. Um, and we have some more here as well. All right let's get started. All right so you're gonna want to start with your ring mandrel and uh, one thing that you'll need to know before you get started is what size ring you're going to make. I'm going to go ahead and make a size 7 today, uh, just because that's a general size. Six to Between 6 and 8 is pretty average for most people. Alright, so now we'll go ahead by starting the ring. I'm going to take my stone and I'm going to take my piece of wire. I'm going to stick the wire into the stone. And I want to bring the stone right into the center of the wire. So how I find the center is I just take the two ends here and I'm going to just bring the bead all the way down into the middle there and I'm going to make a little bend on either side of the stone, a bend in the wire so that way it'll stay put and it's not going to slide anywhere. Okay, now we're going to take our ring mandrel and we're going to go ahead and put the stone on the size that you want. So I'm going for size 7 and my stone is on size 7. I'm going to hold it with my thumb there and see how my fingers are holding the back of the ring mandrel there as well. Uh, you're going to take, there's, there's two wires now in the back and one of them is naturally on top of the other one. So I'm going to take the one that's on top and I'm going to wrap it around one full time and a half. So now it's pointing towards me. And I'm going to go ahead and take my pointer finger here and I'm going to stick it on the wire and hold it there. Okay, and it'll just kind of spring back on its own. But my finger here is holding the wire. And now with the bottom wire, I'm going to have to move these fingers out of the way. I'm going to go one full time around the bottom and just a nice you know, wrap around and a half a turn so that it's pointing at me as well. And then I'm going to put my fingers on the back wire as well. Okay, so we have, see, the four pieces of wire. One, two, three, four. Now I can go ahead and slide these wires together. Let me get a better view for you. Um, I'm going to, there's four wires in the back there, and I'm going to just slide them so they line up with each other. Just like that. Okay, and I'm pinching on either end of the stone. I'm pinching the wire. Now what we need to do is just double check our ring size that we're still on number seven, because sometimes during that process it's easy to get off the size that you wanted. Um, so just make sure you're, you're on the size that you want. And I even give these wires a little tug here, kind of like you're tightening your shoe, shoelaces. Um, just give these a little pull uh, so that it's nice and tight around the size that I want. And pinching either side of the stone with my fingers. And I'm going to guide this wire in the back. I want to slowly slide the ring off the mandrel, but I don't want those to unravel at all because if it unravels, it's going to change size. So nice and slowly, I'm going to pull it off the ring sizer. And then we want to go ahead and grip it like this. Okay, so if the stone, if I'm looking straight at the stone, my thumbnail, um, actually, if I'm not looking straight at the stone, if I'm looking at the stone, the, the direction that the hole's going and that the wire's going through the, the ring, the stone. Um, I want to put my thumbnail right on the edge there. Um, there's a wire that, that's going through the stone and then there's the wires that go in the circles. That's where you would put your finger through. Right where the wire that goes through the stone, I call that the platform wire. So it looks, if you're looking at it, it looks like the stone's on a little platform. You want to just put your thumbnail where the platform wire is going to meet the rings, the circles, okay? And now that my thumb is there, I'm going to make a little bend with this wire, just like that. 
And then this, I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna bring it through the center where you would stick your finger on the ring. And I'm gonna pull it through. I'm gonna guide it nice and slowly, just kind of babysit it while I bring it around. Okay, because we wanna make one really nice tight wrap. So there we've got one very tight wrap on the side there. I'm going to continue on the same side and I'm going to do two more wraps. Now each of these wraps should lie just above the next. So you're working your way up towards the stone and you'll have three wraps around just like that. Now what I'm going to do is what I call a figure eight motion. I'm going to take either side of the wire, doesn't matter which one we start with, and it's going to come under the stone but above the rings. So I'm going to bring it directly across. And there's like a little corner pocket there that I stick it in. And I'm just going to pull that wire directly across like that. And then I'm going to bring it back towards me this way. So just to reiterate, we went through like that and then back that way. And we're gonna do like this. This is the motion, so it's like a figure eight. Okay, so now I'm gonna stick it through on this side. And I'm gonna pull it through. Once I've pulled it through, you're gonna bring it back towards you. Okay. Also done the figure eight motion with the other side of the wire. So now you've, you have one full figure eight with each side of wire. All right, now we're gonna do some wire art on top of the stone. Um, however, if you choose not to do the wire art, you'll skip this step completely and you'll move on to the next step. Uh, for the wire art on top, you're just gonna go ahead and pull one of these wires from one of the sides and you're gonna bring it across the top of the stone. I like to hold my thumb on the stone there so it holds the wire nice and taut um, and um, once I go across the stone, I want to just kind of hook this wire into the side there. And what I'm doing is like anchoring it down. So I'm just going to pull it through. It's that little platform wire like we talked about before. And I've hooked it across there. And now I can come across the stone three, four, five, as many times as I want. Um, whatever you think looks good. But each time you go across, you're going to want to hook it through the side and anchor it down, okay? All right, I've chosen to go across the top of the stone four times, and now I'm going to finish off the ring. So how I'll do this is we have the two wires and they're on opposite sides. I'm going to take one of the wires and I'm going to wrap it around the perimeter of the ring. Now doing this, I want it to be tight, but not too tight. You don't want to dent the platform on the ring. Uh, so you're just going to bring it around and around and around. Okay, just like that. And then just bring it around. And then when you have about an inch left of wire, I'm going to wrap it down on the side of the ring where we did those original three wraps. So this one's just gonna come through the center of the ring there. And for this part, I like to pull it nice and tight using my flat pliers. So each wrap around, I'm gonna pull it tight and wrap it one more time through. And pull it tight. And then what I'll do is I'll snip that wire off and I will pat down the little sharp edge. So I'm going to take my wire cutters and I'm going to cut the wire. And then I'll take the flat pliers and I'm just going to tuck that in and down. 